In this video we will continue the series of Golang microservices by adding a cron job in the background to synchronize the databases. So in the previous video we added a 10% chance of failure from the comments microservice to the post microservice and uh, this will cause some missing information between the two databases. Now in this video uh, we will add an infinite loop that will run asynchronously that will synchronize both databases. So let's see how to do it. So I opened the projects. This is a post microservice and this is a comments microservice. And also the front end is running. Now I will insert some comments here. We know that uh, we have a chance uh, of failure here. I will decrease the number. So I want to have uh, uh, some comments removed so I will save this and I will run it again and uh, I will insert some comments now one two three four so I inserted nine comments I will refresh and we can see only four are appearing here and uh, I will revert this change back so and uh, I will restart this. So now we can see that uh, the post microservice has uh, less comments than it should have. How do we fix this problem? Uh, we will fix this problem by running a cron job. But uh, I since we are using Golang, I will do it differently. I will use uh, Go routines. But if you want to use a cron job library, I suggest using this library. I haven't used it, but uh, you can check it. So let's uh, create a function that uh, will run all the time in the background. So I'll create a function called cron. And uh, what uh, will this uh, function have? So first, so first we need to connect to the database. I'll copy this code and uh, I will add it here. So I will connect to the POS microservice here and I will panic if uh, an error happens and also uh, not POS microservice, sorry, POS database and uh, I will connect to the comments MS as well. So this is uh, the POS DB and this is the comments db and now what i will do is uh, i will add an infinite for loop so it will be just like this just a for loop and in this for loop we will run run it every time sleep time minute so don't forget also to import time here so once you import time for we will run an infinite for loop and we will run it every minute and what will we do here first we will get the comments so var comments is a, a slice of comment and uh, the comments db will find all the comments like this but uh, i will make a change to these comments let's go on top uh, these comments has uh, only the text but uh, we need uh, also the post id here as an unsigned integer uh, because uh, we will uh, get all the comments by post when we run the loop uh, but uh, this will cause a problem here since uh, when we uh, uh, get the comments here it will add also the post ID so uh, what I will do now here is uh, that I will change this comment with a map of string string and uh, it's 
having an error here because uh, this is also a comment so I will make this also a map of string string so it is the same but we will avoid having this error so in case uh, you are wondering I will switch back and uh, if I add this and I will comment this function if I refresh here uh, maybe we need to run also go again if I open in a new tab we will see that the comments have uh, all post ID 0 which we don't want that so I will uh, switch back uh, not uh, removing the post ID I will add here a map of string and string and here also a map of string and string and um, also uh, we needed to make this also a map of string and string when we uh, store the comments and when we append the comments this is a map of string string and the value here is text so I hope uh, I didn't confuse you right now I will simply I simply change the types from uh, this comment struct to just a slice of map string string and uh, if I restart it so I declared uh, the post DB but I didn't use it so I will put an underscore here and restart it we will see that the comments is uh, like before only with the text so that is okay now I will add the variable again the post DB and uh, here we will get the post so var post is a slice of post and the post DB will find all the posts and now we will make a lot of loops right now to filter the data so the first loop is for index post is equal to uh, post so we will loop uh, all the posts here range I forgot range and uh, now we want to get uh, the comments from this post so uh, we will use a uh, this code that we used before only I will change the variable here I will call it post comments and I will use it here so we will create uh, this uh, slice and uh, we will convert this comments JSON variable to this slice it's pretty simple and this will be this four comments that we see here now let's get uh, all the comments that are inserted in the comments microservice so uh, this uh, I'll create another variable filtered comments and this is also a map of string and string and uh, for index comment is equal to range comments so I'll filter these comments now if uh, comment uh, I will remove the parenthesis if comment dot post ID it is equal to this post uh, where is it this post here dot ID I will add the filtered comments so the filtered comments is equal to append filtered comments with this map of string and string and I will add only the text here which is uh, c dot text comment sorry dot text and that should be it so here I'm looping all the comments I'm getting the comments with for this post ID and uh, I'm adding them to this variable and uh, we have uh, 
our comments that are stored we have all the comments that uh, are stored in the comments db and now let's compare them if the length of post comments is less than the length of uh, filtered comments because uh, it is always less or equal if it is equal then there is no need to change it but if it is less then uh, we should uh, change it and uh, I will do it uh, like this I'll copy this code we will create a variable comments JSON we will JSON Marshall here not comments but filtered comments so we will use uh, all the comments that are in the comments DB we'll convert them to JSON this is post DB now the model post where ID is equal to this post ID we will update comments JSON to this value and uh, that should be it this is a function that uh, we want to run right now and uh, if we run that function cron we will probably uh, get all the comments that we want so let's try it i will restart this and uh, we will see that uh, fiber is not running why is that because uh, this is an infinite loop here and uh, the infinite loop is running and it won't go here so how do we solve that problem uh, before we solve that problem let's see if uh, we actually get the comments actually we need fiber to run in order to uh, update the comments the only way is to check uh, the database and we will probably so we should uh, wait uh, a minute i guess let's wait a minute so i waited a minute and we can see that uh, all of them are inserted but uh, we cannot see it here because uh, we have to run this function asynchronously and the go makes it really easy to run it simply run go in front of this function and this function will run on the background and we will have up listen to port 8000 directly here if we do this go run main.go we will have fiber running all the comments are inserted but let's see if this runs again i will manually change the database here comments json is an empty array and if we see it here it is an empty array and we don't have any comments here i will wait a minute and we will see if uh, this uh, cron job will run so let's wait a minute so i waited a minute let's refresh now and we can see all the comments are appearing here so the cron job is uh, running uh, fine so this is it how do we run uh, asynchronously some cron jobs uh, this is not actually cron job but infinite loops that uh, will update our database in case an error happens thank you for watching this video and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you